Okay, question number six from practice paper B, Pure Mathematics 2, uh, part one. Find the value of y for which 1.01 1 .01 y to the power of minus one equals 500, giving your answer to two decimal places. So what we need to do here is it's an exponential equation. So we should really um, we should really take logs of both sides. Okay, now because we have our fancy calculators these days it's easy for us to take logs of any base we want using this button here so the easiest way to solve this question nowadays when as in the past you wouldn't have been able to is to simply just take logs of the base of the number which has the power that we want to um, solve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say okay let's take the log to the base of 1.01 .01. so I'm going to take the log to the base of 1.01 .01 of 1.01 .01 to the power of y minus 1 therefore I have to take log to the base 1.01 .01 of the other side as well so now this you can use a power law so you'll have y minus 1 times this which is 1 okay some log to the base of something to it to itself is going to be 1 so that's the reason why I did it to get rid of that and that's equal to log to the base of 1.01 .01 500 Okay, so y is going to be 1 plus log to the base of 1.01 .01 times 500 and they will, that will give us our answer. Simple as that. So we say log to the base of 1.01 500 okay, plus 1. Add 1 to that. Oops, no, 500. Close the bracket and then add 1. And that gives us two decimal places, so we'll write it down to a few more first. So 625.563, right, 625.56295 dot 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 to two decimal places is going to be 625.56. Just verify that. Yep, two decimal places. Okay, so there's the solution to part one. Okay, now we're going to do part two A. It says, given that two log to the base four of three x plus five is equal to log to the base four of three x plus eight plus one, and x is greater than minus five over through three, show that this is true. So I want to combine the logs together into one term. So what I'll do is I will first of all I'll write this using the power law because combining log can only be done when you, you don't have something multiplying them so I'm going to use a power law first so I'll say log to the base 4 of 3x plus 5 squared that's using the power law and at the same time I'll take this to this side so I'll subtract it from both sides so log to the base 4 of 3x plus 8 and that equals 1 I'll leave the 1 on that side and now um, I can combine these using the subtraction law so it's going to be a division because they're both of the same base there's no problem there log to the base 4 of 3x plus 5 squared over 3x plus 8 is equal to 1 now I can use the basic definition of logarithms this is the base this is the power Okay, so now using the laws of the basic definition of logarithms, I can say that this is um, the base, this is the power, this is the result. So 4 to the power of 1, which is equal to 4, is equal to all of this. So we can say that all of this is equal to 4. 3x plus 5 all squared over 3x plus 8 is equal to 4. Okay, that's for using the basic law of logarithms log to the base p of q equals r so you can say this is the base p to the power of r and is equal to q okay so 4 to the power of 1 which is 4 is equal to what's in this bracket so now i can multiply both sides by 3x plus 8 and at the same time i'll expand this bracket so this is going to give me 3x all squared which is 9x squared plus 2 times 3x times 5 that's 2 times 3x which is 6x times 5 which is 30x and then I've got to square the last term which is going to give me 25 
and that's equal to 4 times 3x plus 8, 4 times 3x is 12x, and 4 times 8 is 32. And we want to express it like this, so we just bring everything on one side and hopefully it will work out. So you've got 9x squared, let me see if I can keep that in sight, yep, 9x squared, oops, it's too high now, okay, 9x squared, and I've got 30x minus 12x, which is my plus 18x, that's good so far, and 25 minus 32 is minus 7 equals 0, so we're done finish that part of the question and then it says part uh, b is hence solve this equation so let's just quickly go back and get what we had before okay so this is what we had to um, simplify before in the other part of the question and just checking that it's exactly the same uh, yes it's exactly the same so we can just take our result from the last part of the question and use that to continue okay so that was the result we got in the last part of the question we had to show that that led to this and now we can use this to solve this equation so basically to solve this equation I have to try to factorize this let's see 63 and 18 mm, will it factorize minus 63 and 18 so you, the only way you're going to get 63 is 9 times 7 Hold on, 63 divided by 3, 21, oh, that, yeah, 18 times 3 is 63. Yeah, so we can actually factorize this. All right. 18 times 3, 21 times 3 is 63. And the difference between them is 18, that's what I need. Okay, so basically my 9x squared goes here. Let me get rid of this for a second. Um, my minus 7 goes here. They multiply to give me minus 63x squared as a product and the sum has to be plus 18 and as we just figured out if you have 21 so 21x and minus 3x multiply to give me minus 63 and add to give me plus 18. So I'll take the common factor from these two from 9 and 21 is 3x from 9x squared and 21x from 9x squared and minus 3x is also 3x. 3x times minus 1 gives me minus 3x. 3x times plus 7 gives me 21x. 7 times minus 1 is minus 7. Yes, everything works out. So you have 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 7 equals 0. So x is equal to 1 third and x is equal to minus 7 over 3. Okay, so... We know that x has to be greater than minus 5 over 3. They helped us out here because uh, they didn't have to tell us that. And we would have to, sometimes you have to check your answers. And if you put minus 7 over 3 in here, this is going to be negative. You're going to have minus 7 plus 5, which is negative. So this is not one of the solutions. So therefore, x equals 1 third is the only solution. If you put 1 third into here, you're going to have... Uh, 1 plus 5, 6, log to the base 4 of 6 is fine. If you put a third in here, you're going to have log to the base 4 of 9. That's fine. This, as long as these don't become negative, you're fine. Okay. If, it's, if they become 0 or negative, then they're undefined. So it can't be 0. It has to be greater than 0 what's inside here. So you can see that um, this is not a solution. So this is our only solution. Okay. And that's the end of that question.